This is my sixth and final beer. I survived, I'm alive, and I'm ready to nail in the last nail. I've got a music video that I really want to talk about, and then I just want to get into, um, you know, talking about some of his stuff. I always wanted to be in film since uh, my mom was a movie reviewer, and I happened to stumble across Gus Van Sant and he told me to do music videos as a way of getting into directing. That sort of set me all the way up into videos and to get me opportunities with, with uh, artists that have celebrated my relationship like Missy and Pink and people like that. I've just got to not stop it up. It's been a long road here. Hey. Hi, how you doing Dave? Nice to meet you. Good on. nice to meet you too. Welcome to the edit. So this is the, the new pink clip. I just shot this last week. Yeah, actually, I, I just met with um, Michael Gore. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, <laughs> he showed me some of the photos from the set. That's cool. Are you trying to do music videos, or are you um, trying to switch your... Well, I've kind of... I mean, I'm still kind of searching for what I want to do. Like, I'm really new into film. I always kept it to myself, but I, I always had this urge. So I'm like, well, maybe I should try directing. So. You know, that's a good thing if you're yeah. having that feeling. You know, you want to kind of push forward your own kind of vision, because that's the only thing you get noticed for. The way I'm seeing it, especially with this music video I'm doing, I've got this theme of these red balloons throughout the whole thing, and it's a lot of sort of slow motion, people walking through the street. You're gonna do that for no Everyone's budget. Everyone's floating up. I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> I still try to treat everything I do as my last thing that I'm ever gonna get to do. Yeah. So, like, if there's something that sounds scary to you, it's probably something good to do. Yeah. You ever find that you just, you have a, a song there and you'll listen to it a hundred times and there's nothing? I've wanted to throw up, I've listened to a song so many times. I go to sleep with the headphones on yeah, and yeah. it gets into your dreams and then you, about 3 a.m. you wake up with like this, in this half sleep, half wake state yeah. where you're not sure if you're listening to the song or you're seeing visuals. You're actually sleep dancing, right? yeah. I think it's an incredibly <laughs> healthy process for you as an artist to, yeah. to have that experience because mm -hmm. you're, you're searching, you're, you're challenging yourself. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes, Sometimes you can be your own blockade, or sometimes you have to like kind of just hit it from a different angle. Yeah, sometimes, that's one thing that I'm starting to realize. It's just yeah. you just jump in and do something at least, especially if you haven't even gotten into the industry yet. You can't really pick and choose. You just start making stuff. It's exactly just do it. Yeah. It's all about you making your own mistakes and making your own successes and perfecting it. I was pretty nervous before I met Dave. I had a lot of time to think about it and I sort of figured, what's he going to say? What do I have to offer? But once I started talking with him, it was just so laid back that, yeah, it got along as if we knew each other for a long time. <laughs> These are basically, they've been with me for three weeks in my baggage. Right. From Australia. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Cheers. When do you shoot your video? Two days? Two days, yeah, on Wednesday. But I might be doing a little Wayne on Thursday. Yeah. If you want to come by. I would kill to be on, on set on Thursday. Great. Absolutely. There were a lot of blocks on this trip and I kind of was, was getting a bit down on the whole, you know, can I be a director or can I, can I tell a story and yes, of course, of course I can. I actually think that's a nice thing at Rowan's stage where anything is possible and I think it's the journey of a filmmaker is to kind of learn what your disposition is, what your interests are, where you can be passionate and excel. Uh, let's get started on these damn balloons. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I hope that doesn't happen every time. Persistence, I think more than anything at all, makes your career in, in this town. And the only real truism that I've seen all filmmakers have is persistence. You imagine a hundred balloons, but it works. You know, of course, this is not anywhere near what I pictured, but that's what I expected. So it's kind of, you just make do with what you got. Great job. Cheers, cheers. to yeah, Dolphin job. City cheers. and yeah, cheers to LA. It's interesting to see the workings of music videos at this level. And like two days ago, he didn't know if he had this job or not. He obviously had the vision in his head because here it is. And that's kind of what I suppose directing's about. 
I've always told everybody that's coming to my life, just do it, it's all possible. So I don't know how all filmmakers are, but from the ones that I've met, there is a passion alive in most of them that are good. I would love to be shooting in the set. The lights that actually I hooked up to do a little dance. It's actually hard to express exactly how much I've grown. The way I see things has changed. And I'll take that with me in whatever direction I go now. It's fucking awesome.